Sickle cell anemia is a result of a base substitution mutation which occurs in DNA and when it does occur it changes the polypeptide chain or one of the polypeptide chains found in hemoglobin in red blood cells. So under a normal situation uh, there is a triplet on DNA GAG and when that goes through transcription to the mRNA uh, and then finally through translation uh, it produces the amino acid glutamic acid. However, the base substitution mutation uh, changes the A in the GAG to GTG. So when that base substitution, that being one single base um, changing over into a different base, is then transcribed, it produces a different codon on mRNA and thus produces a different amino acid after translation and that amino acid is now valine. Now the IB want you to know uh, the change from GAG to GTG being the base substitution mutation and that the result of that is changing glutamic acid to valine. So what happens from that? Well, uh, the polypeptide chain that is produced by putting valine inside instead of glutamic acid uh, changes the shape of the hemoglobin in the red blood cells and makes them sickle shaped. So you can see them circled here in red. Now that sickle shape uh, that results of the red blood cells you can see here in the diagram actually can impair blood flow. Whereas if you look at the top diagram, the red blood cells are moving quite smoothly. Um, in the bottom diagram, they can get stuck. Um, that can result in strokes, in fact. Um, so that's one of the side effects of sickle cell anemia. So let's just summarize the exact effects as a result of that base substitution. Um, hemoglobin molecule then has a different shape. The important thing that students often forget is that this means that that hemoglobin can't carry oxygen as well as it did before when it's a different shape. So that can result in weakness felt by the person, in fatigue, shortness of breath, and as I mentioned before, the impairment of the blood flow. Important to note that the sickle cell anemia is caused by two mutated recessive alleles. Uh, that takes you a little bit into genetics, so do check the genetics section uh, for that.